Making mummies creates a very round tube at the base of the reed and is the first step in creating a proper internal bevel. If it's not already soaked up, put your profiled piece of cane into the water until the ends have darkened, showing that it's properly hydrated. And then take out a piece, fold it in half. Again, make sure that the collars are aligned as evenly as possible. In place, four fingers worth of wire near close to where your first wire is going to be. Put it on. And we're going to make a twist, but not tighten it all the way. Make sure the sides of the reeds are not slipped. And that one side is not overlapping the other. And get them as even as possible. There we go. Now I'm going to put my wire, one and five sixteenths of an inch, to the fold. I'm measuring from the middle of the wire to the fold. One and five sixteenths of an inch. And I'm going to tighten the wire in this fashion. I'm going to pull let go and close the twist. So I'm not pulling and twisting at the same time. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to pull, let go, and close that gap. There we go. Okay. Wire's nice and tight. It's not collapsing the cane. Now I'm going to trim it. Take my string. This is a thin cotton string. And I'm going to wrap it very tightly ab above the first wire. Do eight or nine wraps. and then fairly loosely below the first wire all the way down to the base of the tube. Okay. And I'm gonna drop it in some water until the string is wet. string is nicely soaked up now. I'm going to use a forming mandrel for this step. So if you have a short and a long or a double ended, it's going to be the long tapered one. And we're going to push that reed on there as far as it'll go. And take my pliers with the forming notch. And I'm going to go under, only underneath the wire never above the wire, and I'm going to go around and around and around, squeezing, 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 up and down, push it on a little more, squeeze it a little more, and then I'm going to put it on my drying rack and push it down as far as it'll go and let it dry. We let our mummies dry for at least two weeks.